There are 15 species of wild rabbits and hares in North America. The eastern cottontail is the most common and widespread rabbit in North America. Rabbits, hares, and pikas all belong to the family lagomorphs. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel where we talk about wildlife and organic gardening. Today we are talking about the wild lagomorph. Names in the lagomorph family can get pretty confusing. The animal we call the jackrabbit is actually a hare. Hares are larger with longer ears. They tend to live alone except during the mating season. Hares, like this young antelope jackrabbit, are fast and can run 45 miles per hour and jump as high as 5 feet. The cottontail is much slower comparably, but can run for a longer period of time. They can go 18 miles per hour, but they can do so for upwards to 30 minutes. They get their name from the white poofy tail. Their tail confuses predators who may be chasing them. They have excellent senses and twitch their noses while smelling. They have a hundred million scent receptors in their noses and twitching helps expose all of them. Eastern cottontails have eyes that protrude a bit from their heads, which gives them almost 360 degree vision. Rabbits are prey food for many species and a very important part of the food chain. Rabbits and hares must be ever alert, not only for land predators, but for attacks from above. Birds of prey often hunt them. This is a great horned owl. Speed is a definite asset here. Studies suggest only 25% of rabbits live to age two. Lagomorphs have many ways of escaping prey. One is their speed, another is just hiding in a burrow. Rabbits use burrows where hares live and have their babies above ground. Some, like this snowshoe hare, camouflage themselves by being white in winter and rusty brown in summer. They have much smaller ears than most lagomorphs because of the cold regions they inhabit. Besides smaller ears, the snowshoe rabbit has adjusted to the Arctic region in many other ways. They have much larger feet so they can hop on the snow. A new study on snowshoe hares found that they will occasionally eat meat or carrion. Researchers in the Yukon observed them eating roadside kill that they monitored with cameras over the course of two years. Baby cottontail rabbits, which are called bunnies or kits, are born blind and naked and totally dependent on mom. In fact, it's not uncommon to find a nest of them in your backyard when you start up spring yard work. Baby bunnies are weaned at only one month. They look like fluffy tennis balls. Wildlife rehabilitators often get calls about young rabbits from people that are concerned that they don't have a mom. By this age, they are eating grasses and are ready to be independent. Wildlife rehabilitators spend a lot of time educating people on when a baby bunny should need intervention. If you have concerns, go to the Animal Help Now website and use their locator to find a licensed wildlife rehabilitator near you. Baby jackrabbits or hares are born with hair and can see. This gives them the advantage to escape predators that may find the nest. Both rabbits and hares may play fight, chase each other, or be aggressive during mating season. Rabbits tend to live in brush and woodland areas like this desert cottontail. Swamp and marsh rabbits live in wetland areas 
and can actually swim quite well. We often joke about how fast rabbits multiply. Cottontails typically raise between 12 and 30 babies in their lifetime. When we kill the predators in any given area, we increase the populations of their prey. Rabbits can cause problems when their populations go unchecked. They will begin to explore other food sources. Both rabbits and hares can be raiders in your garden. Rabbits are prey animals and very skittish. Fences and motion-censored predator shapes can help keep your plants safe. Fences should be two to three feet high and flat against the ground. Predator urine or the presence of a dog will also help deter them. Hares have 48 chromosomes, while rabbits have 44. They cannot interbreed because they are different species. We often think of rabbits and hares as very quiet animals. They do in fact use sounds to communicate and can purr and growl. They make a loud screech when attacked by a predator. I hope this video has been interesting. Subscribe for more interesting wildlife videos. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous sunny day.